In this video, we want to take a look at solving binomial problems. So let's say we've got something like 2 plus 10x to the power of 8. Okay. And let's say I want to know the coefficient here of x to the power of 7 in this expansion. Okay. So I want to know the coefficient of the x to the power of 7 term. Now, normally what I'd do here is I'd use the binomial expansion on this and then just identify the coefficient of x to the 7 once we've cleaned everything up. But like you can see, this would still be quite a lengthy process here. It's quicker than doing it by hand, but this is still time consuming. Okay. So what we want to identify in this video is a general way um, or a general term that will quickly give us the coefficient of a term in an expansion like this. And we can do that. The general term here, something like this. So the general term is given by, so I just identify here, so it'd be a plus b to the power of n. So we're expanding something like this and the general term is given by n choose r, so n choose r, times by a to the n minus r, times b to the power of r. Okay, so if I'm expanding something of this form, a plus b to the power of n, then the general term is given by n choose r times a to the n minus r times b to the r. Okay, so let's take a look at that in practice now. So what we're asked to do here is find the coefficient of x cubed the binomial expansion of 2 plus 5x to the power of 6. Now, the coefficient of x cubed isn't actually too far into this expansion here. So, to be honest, you could just expand this and just identify the coefficient of x cubed. However, what we just uh, mentioned on the previous slide there was a quicker way of doing this. Okay, so if I'm expanding something of the form a plus b to the power of n, then the general term is given by n choose r times a to the n minus r times b to the r, okay? So what I wanna do now is just identify the values of a, b, n, and r, okay? Because once I've got all of those, we just simply plug it into this. So a in this case would be this term here, so that's gonna be two. b is the coefficient of x here, so that would be five. n is the power of the expansion, so the binomial, binomial expansion here of two plus five x to the power of six. That's what n is. And then finally, r here is the power of the coefficient that we're looking to find here. So because we're looking for the coefficient of x cubed, so that's the term we're looking to find here. So that's going to be the power. In this case, it would be 3. Okay. So what we've got there is everything that we need. All I need to do now is just substitute in appropriately here. So in that case, then we're going to get 6 choose 3. So it's n choose r. So 6 choose 3 times a to the n minus r. So that's going to be 2 we times this by 2 to the power of 6 minus 3. And then we times that by b to the power of r. So b is 5 to the power of r is 3, so 5 cubed. So all I need to do now is put everything into my calculator here. So 6 choose 3, that would give me 20. 2 to the power of 6 minus 3, so that's 2 cubed, so that would be 8. And then 5 cubed is 125. Okay. And then all I need to do here is just put this again into my calculator. So 20 times 8 times that by 125. And what I get here is 20,000. So I get 20,000 there. Okay. And there we have it. So the coefficient of x cubed in this binomial expansion is 20,000. And like you can see, that is a lot quicker than actually performing the expansion and then identifying the coefficient. Okay. And there we have it. So that's our solution to that practice question. Moving on to the very last question here, where we're given that the coefficient of x cubed in the binomial expansion of 2 plus kx to the power of 8 is equal to 28. Okay, and all we want to do is find the value of the constant k. So this is certainly more challenging than the last question because this time we know what the coefficient is equal to. But we're looking to find the value of this k here. Okay. So what we need to do here is use the binomial expansion. Um, oh, sorry, not the binomial expansion, but the general term in a binomial expansion for the coefficient of x cubed on this part here. And then we're going to set whatever that is equal to to 28. Okay, and then we're going to solve for k. So let's start by identifying um, the terms here of a, b, n, and r. So a here is equal to 2, so that's going to be 2. b is equal to k. n here is the power of the expansion, so that would be 8. And then r here is the power of the coefficient that we're looking to find. So that's going to be 3. 
So if we just write down the general term again, so if I'm expanding something of the form a plus b to the power of n, then the general term is given by n choose r times a to the n minus r times b to the power of r. Okay. So all I need to do now is plug the value of a, b, n, and r into our general term here. Okay. And once I've done that, I want to set whatever we get there equal to 28, because we know that coefficient is equal to 28. So n choose r here, so that's going to be 8 choose 3. 8 choose 3 there, times it by a to the power of n minus r, so that's going to be times by 2. To the power of n minus r, so 8 minus 3. And then we times that by b to the power of r. So b in this case is k, so that's k to the power of 3, okay, or k cubed. And we know all of this here is equal to 28. We set all of that equal to 28. So what I need to do now is just simplify this left-hand side here, evaluate where we can. So 8, um, choose 3 here, that would give me 56. So 56, 2 to the power of 8 minus 3, so that's 2 to the power of 5, which is 32. So 56 times 32, and times that by k cubed. And all of this here, is equal to 28. So simplifying the left-hand side here, 56 times 32, that would give me 1,792. I get 1,792 k cubed there. Okay, and that's equal to 28. So what I need to do now is solve for k here. So what I'm going to do first is divide by this coefficient of a k cubed. So 28, do this on your calculator, divided by 1,792. So that's going to give me k cubed is equal to 1 over 64, okay? And remember, we're just looking for the value of k. So I need to get rid of this cube term here. So to do that, we take the cube root of both sides. And in that case, we get that k is equal to the cube root of 1 over 64. And if you do this on your calculator, so the cube root of 1 over 64, in this case, this would give us a quarter there, okay? Because obviously we're taking the cube root of one, which is one, and then the cube root of 64, which is four. So we get one over four there for the value of k, okay? So that you can see it's not too complicated. It's a little bit more complex than the previous question, but it is just relying on this basic idea of finding the general term here just to speed everything up, okay? We could have just expanded this using the binomial expansion um, and then just identify the coefficient of x cubed. That is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, this is just a quicker way of solving problems like this, okay? But either way, what you should get here is k equals 1 over 4 there. And there we have it. So that brings us to the end of this video on solving binomial problems. In the next video, we're going to take a look at binomial estimation.